Today, let us study the Word of God with the sermon title, Good Deeds and Good Character. Let us see Romans chapter 13, verse 8. Let no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt to love one another, for he who loves his fellow man has fulfilled the law. The commandments, do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not covet, and whatever other commandment there may be, are summed up in this one rule, love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no harm to its neighbor. Therefore, love is, what is love? The fulfillment of the law. Throughout the Bible, all the righteous laws of God written in the Old Covenant Law and the New Covenant Law contain God's great and holy love. Let's see verse 11. And do this, understanding the present time. The hour has come for you to wake up from your slumber, because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is nearly over, the day is almost here, so let us put aside the deeds of darkness. Evil deeds, ungracious actions, and words. Since all deeds originate from words, let us first change our words to be gracious. Let us follow the righteous teachings of God and speak gentle, kind, and positive words. Righteous words form righteous deeds, and righteous deeds form and mature to be a godly character. Let's continue with verse 12. The night is nearly over, the day is almost here. So let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us behave decently as in the daytime, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and debauchery, not in dissension and jealousy. Rather, clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not think about how to gratify the desires of the sinful nature. Today, God is enlightening us to understand His holy will through the book of Romans chapter 13. When Jesus came to earth, not only did He perform many righteous deeds, but He also preached the gospel. Let us confirm this in Acts chapter 10. Verse 36. You know the message God sent to the people of Israel, telling the good news of peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. You know what has happened throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, and how he went around. What did he do? Every place he went, he carried out good deeds. While doing good deeds, he also preached the good news of the kingdom of God. He went around doing good and, what else? Healing all who were under the power of the devil because God was with him. The words that are preached, not being accompanied with good deeds and good character, cannot be the seeds that are sown on good soil. If your words are full of thorns and your heart is a rocky field, how then can the seeds of the truth of life, which are like precious jewels, be sown in the same place and bear good fruit? For this reason, while preaching the gospel, Jesus performed many good deeds. He preached the good news of the kingdom and taught the laws of God to the poor and weak who were chained by the wages of sin and death. By this, he set them free so that they could be led into the arms of God and have hope for the kingdom of heaven. I hope all our brothers and sisters in Zion do not conform to the pattern of this world, but set the example for all mankind by performing many good deeds. By this, I would like to conclude today's sermon. Thank you very much.